Hello guys, well, come back and another tutorial on uh, POCO F1 how to install the Windows 11 or Windows 10 uh, ARM64 Windows on ARM on POCO Pon F1 my device has 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. My advice, if you got uh, 64 GB, better don't flash the windows. Why? Because not enough space for your Android. At the moment, my device nothing install just fresh install because the window need a lot of space if you are playing game even worse so your alternative are using the altern uh, external storage at the moment this storage are not working on windows right let's begin right this is the link for the page in the description i will give it to you also this is all what you need it's pretty simple actually and uh, there is some question over here this is your original uh, partition from here to here user data the user data size are uh, this size depend on your device uh, storage and after resize this is your android user data this part is your android this one two three are uh, windows one two twenty two twenty three where is msr so we skip this one first what you need button extract use your seven zip 7-zip you can download from uh, the web it's free of charge the windows iso use the uup dump you can go to this website download uh, whatever windows you want windows 10 or windows 11 up to you and get the latest developer channel or latest release review that's include update in the conversion option right this one is the UEFI image for beryllium there is two this one for the FTF FTS touchscreen this one for the NVT this one is a must the boot image for windows and your android after that uh, after this i show you how to back up your boot image for android you download this one for mine it is a uh, fts this one get the latest one Parallel. I put everything on desktop. Wherever you like, inside a folder better. You create one folder, so next time you wouldn't be confused where you locate the file. This is just a tutorial to show you, right? 
for the window ISO I will not uh, show you how to download you can uh, search on the internet or search on YouTube how to download the UUP dump the Windows ISO okay this is the file and another one is this one because there is two way to deploy the Windows 10 or 11 ISO to your internal storage of your Android phone extract right we already download the four important file all right before we begin the beryllium driver this is the touchscreen driver focal tech fts and nvt since mine are fts i got two touchscreen actually one nvt and one fts you can put two of this file inside but i remove one since mine are focal tech and another thing the usb problem with this driver remove so the usb driver you get it from the older that's first you try this driver first if your usb you want to attach the hub the mouse the keyboard if it's if the windows not respond that's mean the driver problem so i'm using the lc2 driver the usb Yeah. Copy here inside this minimal. Actually, you can put it outside. And another one. The MIC, that one problem also on my device. On yours, I'm not sure. You test it first. On my device, the screen brightness not stable. I see this one. This one is mine. You try all the new driver first, see what happens. If it is okay, then don't change or remove any drivers from here. This is the perfect driver at the moment because mine are problem. Our, uh, my driver already. One, two, is two problem on mine. This one, never mind, you just put inside, but I don't want it. So, first thing, reboot your phone to recovery. You must have the latest recovery or at least the walking recovery. Let's see this uh, tutorial. Now reboot. Nope. Well, add device. Add B. Reboot. Recovery.
this one you can unmount it using the command or just go to your recovery like this mount data unmount oh sorry just like that but before we begin first back up back up this is important boot image data no need that one uh, modem EFS EFS is the most important partition this is the most critical partition EFS don't have a corrupt this partition the modem you can get it somewhere else except uh, EFS that one each phone are uh, different right where I want to back up my boot EFS and the modem inside my SD card okay check again modem EFS swipe I already unmount the data so now follow the tutorial strictly we already unmount now ADB push ADB push space get your parted file you can pull it or get the uh, pub copy as pub also can pull also can space backslash cs we're going to copy it to the cache partition then that this one not it this is another option okay adb shell and then you shimmer the also can right adb shell again right we are in the shell chain directory to cache because we want the parted file where we just copy just now change to the cache now mount it ok print p this is the your original partition this one you can back up I always say back up, back up, back up, but you people never back up. Make it a habit, back up, back up, whatever data you got, back up. So on your keyboard, Control C, uh, make another text human over here, and Control V on your keyboard, this is your original partition because we are going to modify the user data size we are going to resize it ok right this is the pattern we already print here the example this is the last uh, size on the 1 to 8 version up to user data let's like mine 64 this is the last one the 611 up to 591 this is the user data so ours are 1611 to 591 for the 128 this is the one 
let's say I want my user data 8 GB only so the figure here right one six one one megabyte plus I want my Android on the 8 GB only because rest of it for Windows plus 8 GB is 8000 megabyte to be exact is at at six something let's say if this one you will get 7000 plus so 9611 this is the start partition here so user data here 1611 and here 9611 and another one 9611 to whatever size all right we're going to resize it put it over here easy resize part 21 we just don't simply <laughs> copy and paste look first otherwise you may get in trouble what see precise precise part 21 our user data are 21 enter see the end are 59.1 this is the original one so we want to resize the user data to 9611 the, for mine I want 8 GB only for my for my Android for yours maybe 10 20 up to you 9611 megabyte enter right you want to shrink it yes you print it p see now there is another empty over here we need to create another one uh, another two ESP and Windows okay we make another part for ESP FAT32 copy here start from 9611 megabyte space it says only 512 plus another another 512 10.1 exactly 10.1 GB okay to 10 when 1 GB right enter you want to check P so ESP if you want to be 512 exactly maybe 10 point you use the megabyte better 10123 all right set it on you see uh, i already make a mistake set 22 sp on so i just copy and paste what the hell twenty-two. 
ASP on put ASP now the last one the Windows Windows is 23 MacPad NTFS the ESP are FAT32 so space follow the last partition size that's the address 10.1 GB space just now our last uh, partition are 591 where is it this is the one five nine one just remember that so this one for window ten point one two five nine point one right P hmm. oh I'm sorry Ten point one GB space five nine point one GB. See, just a simple mistake. <laughs> Be careful. One, you make mistake. This partition gone. Then you have to remake all this partition, right? Check ESP around 500 megabyte actually it used less this is the maximum size 49 GB for my windows okay over here already done can quit exit right check your Android first because your user data just now we resize it when we resize it your you have to reformat the user data you can do the factory reset one okay wipe another format data You can reboot to Android. Check. All your data are gone. Are reset. That's why always backup. But since you are all expert on flashing ROM, never mind about the Android. You can flash back. What happened to my camera, right? This one, after this we start to put louder. We're going to format the ESP and the Windows partition that we create just now. Okay, we start from here. Two, one. You see here, fast boot boot. You can put fast boot flash boot. Just now we already back up the boot image. If you don't back up, you can get it from your ROM that you flash on your Android. Get the boot image. Because this one Android boot image to boot into Android and UEFI to boot into Windows okay this is our pass boot flash boot 
if you if you use password boot you install everything and after install window we reboot the pawn if it not successfully boot to windows this uh, boot UEFI you just password boot will be gone because you didn't flash it password boot the UEFI if you want to test it but no problem whether the image will kick or not don't flash just password boot if the pawn boot that means that image is okay for me the flash it right the older uh, way to install this uh, windows we flash the dev complete file but now no need since the uh, driver and uh, UFI already fixed everything so fast boot reboot here important you need to use the menu here select use the volume UEFI boot menu choose the last one attach SSCI UAS storage ok we want the phone to connect to PC this may take time depend on your PC you look at the device manager it will install the driver and one more thing this uh, POCO don't use USB 3.0 port you may get in trouble use the older port if you use the new PC don't have the 2.0 port use a com converter the it convert the uh, 3.0 USB to 2.0 this POCO is too old already 4 years old right we don't need this one anymore we can close it while we waiting for the phone to connect to our PC we will here we can re install the Qualcomm drivers we go into format the partition that we create in Windows we deploy everything inside our computer last time we deploy Windows in this uh, pond the screen are too tiny it's hard to see by using the DISM see now it's connected uh, install the driver I hope you got the driver correct must be no exclamation mark here must be all installed one if you check at the moment it didn't detect any partition inside here what it detect also this is my SD card F is the ESP this is uh, this is my window partition actually it didn't, didn't detect right over here we already flashed the UFI open terminal as admin 
right click on your windows sign terminal as admin right just follow here this part type this part right list this this one you don't type the highlight one highlight this this you see the color don't follow this the this this is our always look at the last one make it easy okay we already list the this so we select the select this eight over here six on mine are eight maybe on yours different okay this eight are select we're going to list the partition inside the this eight this bar see over here this bar inside the eight this is the partition inside the phone just now these two partition we haven't format okay now select select partition 22 partition 22 are selected so we're going to format the partition 22 wet 32 the ESP copy and paste okay it's ready formatting assign the letter S done okay the next position are 23 select pa 23 okay the 23 are selected we're going to format it format to windows ntfs this one take time see now we detect the uh, Okay, assign letter W. Right, finish. Exit. That's it. Already format the the two partition we create inside the UFS of your phone. You can check over here. One is letter S. One is Windows. This is uh, still empty. Over here, the driver. And this is the ISO will be stored here. Alright. What happened to my phone? Now we're going to deploy the ISO image. You already downloaded. This is my. Windows 11, Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 11, whatever Windows, all okay. There is two way for this SD845 to deploy the Windows. One is this way, and another one. They say it really all already ancient by using the DISM2 this tool you remember last time in Android we used the ARM64 now we use the x64 or x32 depend on your PC mine is 64 bit if yours are 32 bit use the x86 this is the another way the other way to deploy the window so uh, 
actually my recommended uh, using the older way much faster on this POCO because this POCO using the old UFS 2.0 or 1.0 really slow if you want to see how to deploy it I give example I deploy it to my thumb drive 32 GB 100 meg per second uh, see. I'm going to format it just assume this one as the W this is the window partition on our phone I'm going to format it to NTFS I give you example deploying window using the, the other step this is K I'm going to deploy to K see over here can you understand firstly we need to get the install WIM file to do this mount the windows on ARM ISO windows on ARM let's say this one mount go to source search for install WIM WIM not WIM WIM I I I S I install WIM this one ESD it's the same actually install ESD not on this one because we already mount it unmount it back check so this one Windows 11 just have a click also can you mount it go to source look for the install WIM this is the file right we're going to deploy the window to the K for sample only because we when you use this method really slow writing to the I will show you if you see the command can you understand path to install WIM W is your partition for me I'm going to use the K I'm going to push to the my thumb drive for sample only okay open the powershell as oh sorry admin now we're going to deploy the windows to this k you will see right copy the file to your pc or mark the location of this file do you understand copy to PC well we copy here until the what's what is that symbol <laughs> double dot until there we need the path of the install WIM path so my path up over here right click copy as path paste and then you see we already got my address there the location and space space and then because I want to write it to my thumb drive my thumb drive are K K capital letter K and backslash enter 
now it deploying the this ISO to my thumb drive you will see how long will it take compared to the all the deploying method using the DSM this one after this I show you how to use this one to deploy to your beloved POCO F1 this method may be one hour I am not sure and I don't want to try also too slow too slow too slow how fast we try it this k yeah. 4 megabyte per second my disk read and write speed are around 200 megabyte per second this is a high speed USB thumb drive so the write speed 4 megabyte per second the ISO files you see now already 1% the ISO size 4 GB this is the one we use just now 4 GB this is a compressed ISO the actual size may be 10 or 10 to 12 GB you imagine 4 G 3 or 4 GB per second we're going to write it all the file here 12 GB how long will it take see already one percent only stop already all right we use the all method this one much faster okay run the DSM 64 depend on your windows if you, you are using 32 bit use the 32 <coughs> 964 bit same as before apply image search for your image on my desktop this folder Windows ISO I'm going to use this one this is much bigger ok select the ISO now select the partition your partition for Windows uh, W you already rename it don't flash at the wrong partition <laughs> so PC highlight the W this one select folder add boot format ok this one much faster I think around 10 minutes 10 or 15 minutes all right successfully restart windows image ok same as before open session make sure the W are highlight not the C C is a computer drive W highlight and drivers same as before add drivers locate your driver this is the one I already modded it just now Barry Liam select deploying driver right 
Okay, finish this one. Right, we're going to test signing this one. Execute the command. Open PowerShell. Always as administrator. Copy this one. I'm going to set the S partition. Now we deploy the S partition. We're going to make the boot. Uh, copy. Yeah, press enter. Second that line. Copy. Enter. The last one. Copy. Enter. Finish. So you can exit this uh, PowerShell. Done. Nothing after this. What to do after that? This dev config, not it. Only specific device. After this, I'll show you what happened to the touchscreen, how to fix it. This one we already back up just now. The modem. Sure, the modem will be corrupted. We're going to restore it back. Ready back up. Da, 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 da. How to exit this fellow properly? It didn't mention over here after this. What to do? Putting. See? So, false restart. For that, file and mount image. You will see over here on my PC, this one is already mount, it's now eject. This one eject. This is the two. This one is my thumb drive. I can eject also. Eject can be pull thumb drive. Now this two you can eject it. <laughs> Over here. It's not active. You cannot eject it. Right? The only way force restart. We already finished. Block off the cable. After this we need the here the problem. This is the Virtual drive. You need to use the command to exit that one. Right over here, finish. Finish. Now we are ready. Yes. Setting, 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 setting. Okay. Wow. Still blur, so. <laughs> Full HD. Right. 
the mouse see even the touch screen at this moment is not working not yet for windows you know the drill That's it. Oh, yeah. Show me tough. What happened to you? Over here, you see the touch. Oh, my camera delay already. It's not the video, the camera. See, I touch here. See? I'm touching over here. The bottom. <laughs> so to fix it run the like last time fix the touch screen After that, restart. That's it. Our touch screen will be restart. Fix. Come on, my phone. Perfect. Now the touchscreen are okay. Right, that's it. Hope you like the video. If you like it, give a thumbs up. If you don't, also give a thumbs up. And see you soon on Windows Phone playing PC game. Thank you for watching.